and we're back, and we're kicking things off in a big way with yours truly and the rest of the Spit and Chicklets crew. Well, two of the three. And, uh, oh, for this is Budweiser's bad. You want me to rifle off all this? All right, we're back and we're kicking things off in a big way with yours truly and the rest of the Spit and Chicklets crew. This is Budweiser's Battle of the Grill, and normally it's me hosting RA, but yeah. we're gonna let you take over because two athletes are going head to head. Oh, what? Boys, boys. First time I've ever seen two pigeons cook chicken before, <laughs> so should be pretty interesting. It's gonna be barbecued chicken. Okay, right now the steaks are, well, steaks. Whoever I decide is the winner, the loser's gonna have to buy steaks for the whole Chicklets crew and some nice frosty Budweiser's as well. Ooh, so, okay. That's pretty good way. I love free steaks. You up steaks. for that, Whit Dog? I love free steaks. I'm cooking against a moron. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this All done. Right, Eagle, them's fighting words. We got breast wings, mind yourself, Biz. Breast wings, the whole works. These guys are gonna use all the ingredients they have here. I'm gonna decide who did it better. This guy usually calls a caterer. This guy usually has his grill. No, door, I grill, so dude. I grill. He's wrong. He's got no clue what he's on. talking about. I'm well, a grill guy. Either way, I'll be the judge of what goes down here, and uh, we'll see who's better. Three reasons why I'm gonna take down Whit in the Budweiser Battle of the Grill. One, He's the most impatient person in the world, so you know he's taking those things off early. Number two, I've never even actually seen him grill before. And number three is the sun, what, I forgot it. I'm very confident I'm gonna win. One, Biz never cooks. Two, he always orders out. And three, I don't even know if he can turn on the grill. My money's on Wit. Right I'm gonna put my money on Wit. Right, Gentlemen, this is everything you can use. May the best man win. All right, start. Let's do this. What are you doing there? Don't copy me. I'm only going skinless, Breast because I don't know how to cook the. Uh, I'll do everything. With the skin on. Ideally, we both do a great job cooking, but if we both happen to undercook and RA got salmonella poisoning, it'd be it funny be worst, as man. shit. I'm just putting some salt and pepper on early. Wit going heavy with the S and P right now. Biz looking at a variety of spices. I'm gonna make a, a special sauce for RA. Looks like Wit's getting a little marinade going. Get a little marinade for my boy RA. I want this guy to have a nice meal. I'm I'm doing a little special sauce. Sweet and spicy with some chili flakes and then uh, some hot sauce. I gotta say, Wit opted for the bag treatment for his marinade. That seems to be a better move right now, Biz. You gotta, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's wait taking, till, wait taking an awful lot of time to get that sauce on there. Wait till you taste it. All right, all right. You guys have been around the league a little bit, Biz. Who's got the best barbecue in the league? Uh, I, I would say when you go to Nashville, Tennessee, they yeah. have quite, quite a few spots down there. All right. All right, right now I got a, I got a mixture of a uh, marinade, barbecue sauce, salt, pepper, a couple other things. That's getting ready right there. I'm getting the asparagus ready. We'll get the corn going. And uh, after that, we're gonna Ooh. get it going on the grill here. Oh, this is on the grill first. When you're going at it, you gotta... Mind if I grab this olive oil, my friend? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Maybe not supposed to do that. I was Bobby, supposed to... Bobby oh, I know. He's I know. blow up Brooklyn. I know. I already okay, had a little, olive oil already had a little bit of a mix up uh -huh. here. All right. Yeah, that's... Um, it's all about the taste. Yeah, yeah. I what do you mean? I can't really penalize him for almost blowing the grill up yet because it's, it, the fire seemed to come down. You can't dog somebody for what happens during the action. It's all about what you, when you eat it. What's got, coming right along right now? I, I don't know about putting the uh, olive oil on the grill like that. He almost blew us all up, but it seemed to no, be covered for it. that. I, I, I definitely made the mistake of, uh, of spraying it, whereas I should have just rubbed it on. But after that, we're good. Yeah, you're good. He's so got the asparagus about, um, on. Okay, Biz opting to... I don't want to. Get, I don't want to touch get it. Get one piece at a time here with the sauce instead of the bag method that Wit used. Could be kind of putting you behind the clock here, Biz. You worried about that or what? No, I think that it's going to time it perfectly. That way, I can prepare the one and then really focus on the other. Chicken, I've kind of worked hard at, but it's not exactly a strength usually. It's very difficult to cook on the barbecue, so only intelligent people would be. Yeah, able you know to... what? When I cook chicken, I bake it in the oven, but I'm willing to do some barbecue action right Biz, now. Who's the best uh, cook in the NHL today? You think? Oh, uh, you know who I would go with, and especially as who? far as barbecue, is Brent Burns. Oh, he is Burns. an absolute yeah. veteran. He his own animals. I think yeah. he, I think he catches <laughs> his own meat. <laughs> Actually, I did a, a Budweiser barbecue contest with Brent Burns and Joe Thornton, and they did burgers, and I think they did chicken as well. Did, and did uh, he take it down? Brent Burns, Burns he, took he, he took it down. Yeah, he's uh, he's the OG. Well, All right, last chicken's going on. Uh oh, Biz has his third uh, chicken. A third. And Chicken wing and two breasts on. Wit got two breasts, some uh, asparagus, and corn. So Biz is just doing no sides. Does that have anything to do with it, or? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to wait and see. I gotta wait and see how the plan goes. I need the presentation. I mean, this is a lot going on in the cooking competition. Do I have an it's assistant? Is somebody to take these dirty plates? Grinelli, our producer. Un assistant. I tried to lower the heat a little bit assistant. on this side, considering I want the Thank asparagus you, to be a little Thank more.
crunchy, which means not cooked too much. My big break. I'm sweating. I'm sweating like a maniac right Biz now. This is feeling the heat. Okay, Biz with a simple prep for the corn. He just stops to just slap it right on there. <laughs> no prep. Did no, no, put nothing no, on the corn. I noticed Whit had one, so I had to step the, up my game. Everything's going exactly as it would if I were at home right now. You know, grilled chicken, asparagus, corn. It's a great summer cookout meal. I just want you to know, Biz just put the entire bulb of garlic on the grill, not a clove. What? Right. what? I don't want to. I don't. No. I, I don't like to touch a man's grill when he's cooking. But oh my God, what is that? Biz? The old, the old bulb of garlic uh, on, Biz, on the grill. That's an entire bulb of garlic. I don't know. Garlic. I'm not gonna judge until you eat it, but I've never seen it done like that. There's before. a good chance though, Biz thinks that's a tomato. <laughs> yeah, the aroma from the garlic. It's not touching the chicken, but it's just gonna amplify the taste. It's something I learned online today on Reddit. Oh, oh, if you can get any time you get cooking an ice from Reddit, Biz, you know, you gotta do it. Oh my God, look how much he's burnt that chicken. That wasn't talked about yet. Worry about your own grill, Whit. Why? I'm going against you. I'm gonna worry about my competition. I'm gonna worry about myself. Right here, worry so about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So we can't copy feel, my style. I feel like, what's his face? Ray Scampanella right now. I think the hardest part about barbecuing is trying not to lose all your sweat and sodium I think you're just your nervous, because I ain't sweating a bit. Oh my God, I'm gonna have this other piece RA if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, slow and steady wins the race, Biz. How you, how you doing, buddy? It's going all right. I mean, those, um, that looks so close. bad. Those wings. Biz are, looks, I believe those are, <laughs> that looks burnt. I believe and what are, is the garlic? <laughs> I feel like I could compete against like Gordon Ramsay right now and I got <laughs> Gordon Hamsey. <laughs> all my presentation is, is pretty simple. It's uh. Get the plate ready. You know, I'm, I'm a guy who separates his food. You know, get it on the plate. I think I did overcook the asparagus a touch, but it's more about the chicken, but the corn should be perfectly cooked. Here. Like, hey, what, what do you think, guys? What do you think? I mean, anyone, who, who doesn't want to eat that? He seems to think that it was a time competition where the first guy off the grill won, but it's a little bit more tender love and care I on also thought he could eat my stuff when it was done. I didn't. Yeah, that looks like it was in a pretty bad fire, so I'm gonna have to be cautious when I bite into it. I'm just amazed with this whole bulb of garlic. I've never seen it before. It's you're gonna, an aromatic thing. I'm you're, gonna, gonna, you're gonna taste it. Well, it's gonna, gonna open up your work. sinuses. Oh, oh, great. What do you mean? It, it, it's not how it it's, looks. The it's chicken's how it completely tastes. burnt, it's and then one side, looks, it's how it one tastes. side of the corn isn't cooked, and the other side's burned. Did you ever roll the, the corn over? This is like talking in your backswing in golf while somebody's barbecuing. I don't think you should be judging what they're doing until it's finally finished. Now look at that. Tell me that's not a perfect wing. I'll give you a little peek at what I got going here. So there's the garlic. We talked about how the garlic smoke was going to affect the taste. And then he was criticizing my uh, my corn on the cob here, but I like the half grilled side and then the half not grilled side. Because if my judge doesn't like it too charred, well then you can just eat the other side of it. Whit probably didn't think of that. All right, I think this thing's done. And there you go. That's the finale from Biz. This will be the biggest come from behind victory in Budweiser Battle of the Grill history. Mark my words. Time is up, let's see what we got. It might not look that great, but I gotta try it, although what went simple, it's tough to beat simple. Off the glass and out right there. I got the That's wings, I, I got the, the, the breast with the skin on it and the breast without the skin on it. He just went breast without the skin. So you tell me at home, would you rather have three types of chicken or just one? With garlic that the guy squeezed yeah. in his hand in the middle that, of the plate. I'm gonna eat that garlic like an apple right now, hold on. Oh, oh just, a just a couple drips. Just a couple drips. Your own fingers. You said you've been sweating the whole meal. You just picked up a that's garlic part of the, fall, that's part of and the your, your hand sweat is it's, in his food that's now. That's part of the flavor. If I fucking it's, lose, I don't care anymore. It's, this is this is business Ebola chicken. Please enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang, it's chow time. Uh, Whitney, you finish first, so I will try yours first. I'm gonna try very hard not to judge a book by its cover, so Whitney, I'll try yours. I lamb basted the chicken in a bunch of barbecue sauce, butter, salt, and pepper on the corn. Same thing with a little olive oil on the asparagus. Sure. Quick little salmonella check. I didn't see one of those when you were grilling. Pretty white inside. Looks, Looks good. perfectly cooked. I hint. didn't know it looked perfectly cooked. Not a hint of pink. You gotta like that. A little juicy with the chicken. Let's give it a whirl. I think I might have crushed this one. Mm. What? I, I know you think I'm prejudiced against you, but that's a tasty piece of chicken. Thank right you, Ari. Right. I appreciate that. You're, about, I mean, to eat a, you're about to eat a burnt wing with Sour Patch Kids on his corn. I'll do a little typewriter action with the corn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Holy what Jesus. What's out on that oh, thing, all right? Oh, my goodness. The warthog. What'd the corn do to you? It's not bad. The chicken's yep. better. Yep. That's not your fault. Nope. I think, yeah, you got you to gotta keep the husk on, but. I agree. We didn't, we didn't have the husk. It was already off, but he's right. 
If you're gonna grill the corn, keep the husk on, that way all the flavors and the smoke doesn't get into the and, corn. All right, good, good little mix of salt and pepper. Asparagus, good. Sometimes you get a little chewy on one end, but you cut it nice and short at the end, so. Two thumbs up, good on the plate. All right, thank you very yeah, much. Let's see how this does. Wash the taste away of that food with uh -huh. this wonderful smorgasbord. This is like old Brooklyn, that's like new Brooklyn. He said he wasn't gonna judge a book by its cover, so go in with an open mind. I would do that wing right there. Tell him what okay. you put on it, Biz. What, what I, I don't remember what I put on it. He put on honest. salt. I put it all. All right, I'm just gonna make sure it's thoroughly cooked first off. All right, yeah, it looks good. Nice and white, nice and juicy. Does look good, Biz. Put a whirl here. Mmm. Wow, it's better than I thought. Cause you, 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 I didn't say it was better than him. I said it was better than I thought because you threw everything under the sun on it. But maybe try the other chickens. That right. looks absolutely That looks way stunning. overcooked. That looks dry. That looks stunning. Yeah. Look how white it is inside. Ooh, that, that looks yeah, stunning. That, that yeah. actually looks, that good, looks yeah. like a stunning that piece, piece of chicken. Great. That's a, yeah, that's much better. That's a lot juicier. You have to keep in mind, I gave you three types of chicken, and you still haven't done the corn and the garlic aroma. Biz also had one part of the corn not cooked and another part overcooked, so you could choose. It's like pick your own adventure, reading a book, eating corn. It's making me hungry, Biz. Mm. Better than wits? Yeah, Biz, I'd say the corn's pretty much a wash. You do have a little more variety of chicken with a uh, different taste and the, like I said, the aforementioned burnt garlic. bulb of garlic. Went, went with the, the simple, but you can't beat simple sometimes on the grill. His chicken, very juicy, very tasty, a lot of sauce on it. We're gonna do one final bite, all right? What? That's just a juicy piece of chicken, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Biz. Go back to this wing that you haven't had yet. Okay. Try that wing. That was the perfect wing. This is exactly why I did three types of chicken. Oh, right off the bone. That's a juicy piece of chicken right there, but. What do you mean, but? But I just, for all the for all the flavor you, th you threw on that, Biz, it just. Is it confusing you? None of it, like, stuck too much. So in the shootout, it doesn't pay me to do it, but I got to give the nod to Wid. Like, if I had to serve this to my guest, I, I would I love serve, beating Biz. I would serve Wits. I beat him at everything. I want to thank Guy Fieri. I want to thank Gordon Ramsay. I want to thank the cookbook I got for Christmas in 2015. And I want to thank myself. Because once again, I showed up when the chips were down, and I was the best. Suck it, Biz. Thanks, R.A. You got it, buddy. Oh, oh I love beating Biz. Oh. That's the most unclassy move. That's a typical <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs fan. It's a typical Toronto Maple Leafs fan. That's a wrap for Budweiser Battle of the Grill.